Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're playing a game of Where's Silas on EAFC 24. Everybody wants to know where is the card because he's leagued to be an SBC. He's on Footbin. He's actually even inside of this game in concepts. So what's up with this card? Why can we not get it? We're going to talk about that today and why I think he's actually going to be dropping today. And we're on the doorstep of League One team of the season, guys. We are almost there. More leaks probably coming today. And the first piece of content related to the objectives we expect to see, as well as a big-time Icon Player SBC leak that is making the rounds. We have to talk about a lot today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Now, let's go over yesterday's content, of course, including the guaranteed Bundesliga team of the season upgrade pack, which... I'll say it. I don't know if you guys felt the weight was as terrible as Premier League. It felt maybe just a little bit better. Not great by any stretch of the imagination, but just a little bit better. Yesterday in stream, we pulled Openda for somebody. We pulled Musiala for somebody, which is way better than the uh, the Prem Tots packs that were the week before. Still wouldn't say it's amazing pack weight, right? But again, it's still worth the chance of something good. It was 83,000 coins. They made it cheaper for sure i believe there's 85 and 86 rated squads with a team in the season that is definitely cheaper than the premier league which was nice well i will say that for sure at 83,000 coins you have a decent chance of packing somebody that is at or above the value technically on the market so i think that is a dub now i also will say ggs if you invested in fodder this is going to be a weekly thing honestly on this game the 84s fives and sixes rising in price for the guaranteed upgrades basically buy them on saturdays or sundays and then sell them on tuesdays and wednesdays that is the low tier fodder movement it's happened now two weeks in a row it's been easy coins if you've invested and i think it's going to be the same thing next week so same time next week guys we'll see you for a fodder investment there 84 is for all 2000 coins i don't even know how high 85s went let's double check here really fast like five and a half k 5.6k from down at four and a half up to five and a half just for that hour or so couple hours after the SBC gets released it's the combination of the two team of the season upgrade packs back to back even on a week where the player SBCs have not been as good fodder did great so that is one thing to mention now the other SBC that dropped yesterday maybe assisted in the fodder prices going up just a little bit and that was the 81 plus tradable team of the week upgrade it finally came back ea tweeted about this before the content drop and we noticed this i think it was a week and a half ago where this sbc should have been released uh repeatable every single week like the 83 times 10 is or was right it would go away and then would come back and i was surprised that the tradable team of the week wasn't continuing right well ea finally owned up to their mistake yesterday they tweeted they messed it up and they fixed the sbc it's the same price it's an 85 rated squad we can only do it once per week but but with that being said, guess what? Team of the Weeks are now dropping on the market, and a lot of people are asking the question, should we be investing? And I'm going to be completely honest. This is the, the answer to this question. We're not going to truly know until Saturday, I think, because the Saturday SBC, the 84 times 7 two weeks ago, is what made Team of the Week cards go to the moon, right? When they were like 50, 60K, because EA only required team of the weeks in that SBC. They didn't do the TOTS or team of the week requirement. The only reason to invest in a team of the week card right now would be because EA released another SBC like that. Most of all the other SBCs they've been releasing have been TOTS or team of the week. So this just might be a kind of on a whim investment, or if you have a leak beforehand, which definitely people will, um, if the 847 or the 8310 does come back one of these weekends, it could make team of the weeks go up. So yeah, I think there's a potential investment there, but I think it's one that you wait for the SBC to drop to that only requires team of the weeks that has a lot of hype before you try to make an investment like that. That's just kind of my two cents there. I will not be investing, but uh, the 83 plus player pick, of course, for team of the weeks is always the thing to go and do. Even if you need a team of the week that badly, just go do it with coins now one last thing about fodder is if you still have any left over and you're watching this before rivals rewards i would try to take the dough because i do believe that some of this stuff is going to be dropping with what is coming out today of course with rivals rewards last couple of things from yesterday and wednesday we had a dusan Tadic player objective technical plus flair and trivella hey just give the guy five star skills ea and this could have been a halfway decent card i mean we have some nice super league links though for sure 
um, right now in this game. Four links to this Tadic. He's a Tots Plus card as well. Pretty easy objective to get done. So if you want to get that one done and that means something to you, then go ahead and get it done. Now, other things to cover from yesterday were basically what the main point of this video is today, guys. Silas. He was leaked yesterday before content as an SBC that was coming soon. He was actually leaked as a team of the season SBC player. And then at the content drop yesterday, this card showed up on Footbin, a flashback Silas SBC in ultimate team. Well, not an ultimate team showing on Footbin, right? He's got right wing and striker positions on his card, right mid as well. Same as his base silver, plus 19 physical, 24 passing and 18 shooting, five star, five star boost. He has five star skills normally on his base silver, but he has a two star weak foot. Quick step, Trivella and Trickster plus playstyles along with finesse, power shot, technical flair, first touch, and acrobatic. And the question right now is, how is this card on Footbin and how is this card in the game? But he's not actually like available. Guys, this is weird because a lot of times when something like this happens where a card is on Footbin or, oh, it's not in the game anymore. Okay, guys, earlier today on stream, we were looking at Silas as concept. Um, on this game and he was literally sitting right there usually when that sort of thing happens it means that he was supposed to be dropped and that's why i kept checking a couple hours after content to see if silas had been dropped yet because this card this literal card right here with this dynamic image was in concept it kind of looks like he's got the finger up he's doing the what's up brother <laughs> almost uh anyways um this card was in concept guys so he's on footbin he's in concepts he was leaked I think it's 100% now that this card is coming today. It's weird that he's now not in the game. That was the first time that I've checked in a couple of hours, and he is no longer here because he was here before. I mean, if you look at the card, if it comes out at a good price, it would be worth doing, right? If you guys remember the hype around this card a couple of years back for Stuttgart, in ultimate team had a ton of hype had a team in the season i think it was an sbc he had tots sbc a couple years back very very hyped card very good in game because he's gonna be five star five star especially for this version this needs to be a cheap card let's be completely honest like this could be a very good card in this game he's six foot two by the way with those skill moves uh in that weak foot combination the 95 pace and the 93 dribbling is nice but like 85 passing and 88 shooting if you look at the in-game stats he's got 88 shot power he is a little low on the composure and the reactions 87 for both of those um 77 aggression 87 strength 97 jumping and he's decently tall there so yeah it just seems like a fun card a card that a lot of us would like to try i think the price of this sbc needs to be honestly like what 100k less than 100,000 coins on the market how much did this guy sell for i can't imagine that he would sell for too much more than somebody like i don't even know sancho who's 72,000 coins you know what i'm saying so i hopefully hopefully see this sbc coming in under 100,000 coins that's just more of a fun one to go ahead and do right that's not a bad sbc to finish off bundesliga tots with i think he will be coming today guys and i hope he's less than 100,000 coins now there's not a whole lot to say about that silas apart from the fact that you know it's just kind of like an ea mistake without it being an ea mistake right because he was searchable in the game we have the exact card in the menus and the fact that it's a flashback too um, it's basically chalked in for today one thing i will mention is he's going to be tough to link and that's one thing that i was wishing he was not a flashback card for is if he had the tots plus card design i think i know he's bundesliga and they haven't given a tots plus to a top five league player yet but his links are a bit tough right um with the stuttgart links not being that great and of course the congo nationality he links to bonza he does link to a couple of players in bundesliga tots of course he's got links to Gerasi, which actually this card could move up a little today i'm not saying to invest i think he's actually already up um yesterday Gerasi was down to 66 went to 76 went down to 65 i think if you see him today after rivals rewards in that 65 to 67 k range it could be an investment because if there's anybody to link to uh Selas, it's probably him or anton and i think garasi would be the more hyped card to link between those two so that's just one thing i wanted to point out those cards might go up 
just a little bit today. But talking about Bundesliga team of the seasons, let's continue the conversation on the market here with these cards because my goodness, did they go up? I bought a Grimaldo last night. I think we talked about it on the video, or at least we were looking at the card, right? He was 1.3 million coins. He's now 1.6. I undersold him by 100 K. I bought two Upa Meccanos at 700, sold one at 800, and one at 880. They had crazy, crazy spikes. I bought a Coman at 401, got a lazy sale, which was nice. And the Schlaughterbacks, the big investment, I had seven of these at around 285,000 coins average, sold them for 347 and 345. Big profits there. The whole rare side of the Bundesliga team of the season cards, everything that is not like a fodder one per se is doing bits. Harry Kane from 3.8 to 4.3. Verts is up 300,000 coins. Goretzka was 1.5. Like you look at this whole entire team and any card that is not one of the cheap ones is up big time. Like big time rises, guys. Very worth investing in yesterday. And there was actually kind of a moment after content. Like you saw the sale price that I had on Upa Meccano, right? There was a moment after content yesterday where prices had were rising from the late night where we bought kind of late Tuesday night, early Wednesday the morning before the guarantee the guarantee came out and there was like some crazy FOMO buying this is when I sold Upa Meccano on stream yesterday right there there was some crazy FOMO buying on some of these cards I'm even watching Openda right now because this guy was all the way up at like 800,000 coins like multiple times yesterday he went from 650 all the way to 760 and right now he's sitting on the market now at 680 again and i'm kind of interested because yes we do have rivals rewards today and supply but there's a lot of gameplay demand and these cards are going out of packs with that combination of things happening today and with league one on the horizon i know the rises are nice i know some of you guys are making profits if it's something that you don't want to lose coins on or you don't want to hold on to for very long i think that's going to be an advantageous way to think about it here guys and not hold on to these cards past honestly tomorrow morning on friday with league one it's going to be a lot of french and uh, a lot of cards that link to each other and probably hopefully are going to be just as juiced as bundesliga and maybe a little bit more packable right we don't have a ton of leaks yet we have a few and of course we still await official stats and news and what kind of players are going to be in this promo for league one tots which is next but for me personally, if I'm doing any trades today, I'm getting out of those trades by Friday morning for the start of League One Tots just because I don't know if these cards are going to have the same kind of movement that the Prem Tots cards did in spiking up um, this Friday. Even if League One is expensive, there might be a little bit of that, but I doubt it's going to be a lot for the second into the third week of Ultimate Tots. So that's just kind of my warning, except for the cheaper cards. Like if you want to pick up some Adiemis, I don't know what Adiemis' lowest price has been probably somewhere in the middle to low at 25k 25k i think if you see him and i think he will drop i think the lower tier of the bundesliga tots team adiemi girassi anton tapsoba jaka malin kind of those more packable cards i think they will drop with rivals today and if you want to stock a couple of them in your club i think that's a decent idea especially adiemi i like because he fits for the cup um, and it's Adiemi, even Sancho for 71,000 coins. Some of these may not go up a lot, but I could see some of them moving upwards. And there will be people wanting to invest after remembering how well the Bundesliga, or sorry, the Premier League lower tier cards did, right? McAllister, Ben White, Gabriel all went up a bunch. I don't think all of the Bundesliga cards are going to do that exact same thing. I think some of them will have some movements, though. So I would say maybe just stock a couple of those. I'd even throw Boniface in there. That's a really nice card. He's got all the Leverkusen links and he's 140K. It's not quite cheap, but it's lower budget. Same thing with Malin for sure. But uh, I would just like buy one, put on your transfer list. If you have a lot of coins, if you're on a lower budget, I wouldn't risk it too much. But be careful with these trades and do not hold on to these cards for too long into Friday because there's always going to be new stuff that replaces it. That is kind of how team of the season does work work now other things that are going to move today with division rivals rewards i'm going to be very careful with fodder i already mentioned it but i would just want to say it again fodder will probably be very low i think i remember looking at these cards last week like 85s and 86s let's look at tony cruz last week from wednesday to thursday wednesday he went up he was 5.8k and a thursday he went back down to about 5.2 so not a huge drop there on tony cruz now there was still demand for sbcs right let's look at 85s so about uh, millie bright millie bright last week on what thursday 
Thursday morning was dropping. Yeah, with rivals, you can see it, right? She went from 4,000 coins down to 3.3, had a little bit of a spike after content back up to 4K with SBCs refreshing and then back down. And of course, down even lower on the weekend. So I would say be careful with fodder of all ratings, honestly, even some of like the 88s and stuff, 89s. I think I would be a little bit more careful with those because those could drop some more into this weekend for sure. And it starts today with that tradable fodder supply from rivals rewards best of luck as well it goes without saying best of luck with your rivals rewards we kind of went on a heater just a little account update we went on a heater yesterday on stream i am literally two wins away from division one we got all of our games done like boom 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 we went six and oh with a bunch of rage qu rage quits and got our all of our upgrades sorted so we will have a tots player pick today if i can get those d1 rewards real quick in a couple of games um i might I, i'm gonna have to try to go for it because those rewards are so much better than um, Division 2. And I have not been in Division 1 since it's been ages, like multiple FIFAs ago. So we've been cooking recently, which is very, very nice. So good luck on your rivals for what today. Hope everybody has a chance at packing this something dope. Now, let's kind of rein it in what's happening today on Thursday. Kind of bookmark it up. I, it's got, I'm not expecting a really crazy day today, guys. But there are some things I want to point out because Thursdays, have brought some interesting pieces of content every single week. Now, first of all, right, we've got the Silas. We're expecting this SBC today. We've already talked about it enough. We won't talk about it anymore. Watch out for his SBC card today. Use him in the cup, 90 rated. That's where I'm going to use him for sure. I haven't finished that yet. But speaking of the cup, it was last week on this day when we had the Bundesliga lounge objectives, cup objectives, whatever you want to call it, dropped. I believe it was Thursday last week. Watch out for today, League One, the Lounge, the Cup. Unless they change something up. I believe this was last Thursday when this dropped. It's been Thursday every single week. We had the Prem first, then we had Bundesliga. Today, League One. If you invested in those League One special cards, kind of that we were pointing out earlier on in the week, right? We've seen those rise. Look at this graph of Jonathan David from 45,000 coins. The bro has hit 72K. He's still in that low 70s range apart from this undercut at 68 right now. You can sell on the hype if you want to, but today is the day where some of that demand will come to fruition and you'll actually have people buying these cards for their teams. Now, it's going to depend on a per card basis. Like if you bought Jonathan David, yeah, still, he might be a card that continues to go higher. If you bought this JJ Akocha, another card that people have been investing in because he's League One and he's 90 rated, he should fit the cup today, right? Just do a little bit of, your, do a little bit of a service to yourself. Go into your club. Make sure that you have League One 90 rated squad players that are good enough for you to use in this cup because it should come out today. It should be a bunch of XP, which again, with a bunch of XP being given out because there's like, what, 3,000 XP right there just for the League objective specifically. A lot of people are going to be leveling up into a higher level. Maybe even some of you guys hitting level 25 should be getting close to that where you've got the choice of an 86.3 and an 87.2, which in my opinion, you got to take the 86.3 um three players it's only one rating difference like come on just give me the extra player right even if it's 286s you get that 188 in there you know not too bad other than 287s at least that's the way that i would look at it so that's the biggest thing for today that could impact the market a bit and that's going to mean gameplay demand today's going to be a good gameplay demand regardless though because people are going to be playing champs qualifiers people are going to be playing matches and even rivals getting ahead i would watch out on the market for again these bundesliga cards to move up a little bit in price some of the bundesliga tots but also what i would watch for is bundesliga out of pack special cards guys bundesliga out of packs i would definitely keep an eye on too because last week i think it was prem specials went up a good amount on thursday as people are buying cards to build out their squads to go and play in rivals in qualifiers right get ready for the weekend that is coming ahead and also kind of like okay you know put their teams together and say all right this is what i've packed during this promo of bundesliga team of the season wow goretzka is how much Goretzka is crazy. It's 700K. Wow. He was like 560K yesterday. He is crazy high at the moment. So these cards are already starting to go up. Um, that's crazy. But watch the Bundesliga out of pack specials today because that could be something that will move on the market. So if you want to try to trade today, that's where I would be. Even some like non Bundesliga things. Premier League Tots cards. Remember, Cold Palmer was like 800. 80,000 coins. He's back to 950. Sunny is up a little bit. You're seeing some of these Prem Tots cards rebound back a little bit from their low points 
earlier on in the week there's just more gameplay demand once we get toward the tail end of this week as we get to the start of champs again and especially the build up to another league of team of the season tomorrow now speaking of those league of team of the season the league one and d1 arkema we have our first d1 arkema link it is gioro i want to look through a couple of these really fast to end off the video gioro is coming to ultimate team soon in the tots d1 arkema promo um no loading screen yesterday maybe they'll give us a hint today uh, of players that might be on the loading screen i think last week right we had pop um and i forget who else we had on the loading screen last week but i would have to imagine that we are going to get a loading screen today with a D1 Arkema player and a League One player, probably Mbappe and somebody else. Gioro, Diani, Wendy Renard, so many big name players that could be in D1 Arkema team of the season. I'm excited. I'm also like, why have we gotten, not gotten a lot of leaks? It's been relatively quiet on that front. We did have a couple more yesterday, right? With Gioro and with Aubameyang. There's some other names being thrown around like... Um, Lacazette as well. That could be pretty hyped. This Aubameyang card could be really mad too. Again, these are all predicted stats. It is just these players are coming in team of the season. So I have to wonder if we're going to be getting a lot of leaks today of League One Tots cards that will be coming out. That's something I really want you guys to watch out for because that could also dictate some of the hype and a little bit of the market movements today on this game as well. It's going to be a big part of it, right? To go along with the Mbappe, the Vitinha, and the Akimi that we have already had leaked. I expect to hear a lot more news about players of that caliber coming today. And then even an early leak for stuff that is coming on Friday. We have ourselves a top tier SBC that is coming and there's rumors and whispers about who that SBC is going to be. Yesterday, FIFA Trading Romania posted this and said, we deserve a top SBC after all these server issues, right? And he used the Bombazo um, emoji, right? Whenever he uses the Bombazo emoji, that oftentimes means that it is a big player SBC. And the player that it is rumored to be as of right now is this man, Patrick Vieira, team of the year icon. It is his SBC that could be gracing ultimate team soon for for medium high work rates. I haven't used the Vieira card all year. I'll be completely honest. Two playstyle pluses, Again, I think I said it earlier in the week, the Icon SBCs, I know they have two playstyle pluses and that's fine, but it's still, some of these put me off a little bit from wanting to go and grind and spending a lot of time crafting an SBC for one of those players when there's so many other great players that are out right now in team of the season that are just way, way cheaper. But his card in the market's about 2.8, 2.9 mil. I would expect him to drop more today. He was yesterday between 2.9, dropped a bit with the leak to 2.8. He's probably gonna drop a bit more. I think this SBC would be on Friday and it would be kind of correlate in correlation with the release of League One team of the season. But that is the biggest leak that we have right now, apart from the players that are going to be coming in League One Tot. So I wanted to mention that. So if you are really looking for a Vieira to be a defensive stalwart in your team, you have that opportunity coming very soon, it seems. So I'm going to enjoy these sales, these coins that have gone back up. We're back up to almost 10 milli. So that means maybe, just maybe, we have one last shot at opening a store pack today on this game. I think I have a dupe Tots right now. Yeah, it's buyer. Guys, I've been getting so many packs built up kind of unintentionally just with all the exchange grind i'm really not doing any player species at the moment i will do silas 100 today for sure um but i have not been doing too many sbcs so the exchanges have just been building up on my account and i just have so many packs i'm crafting through a bunch of player picks the tots counter is up to 82 um but yeah sancho was my guaranteed yesterday i really have not had anything else of note i know some other people were packing good stuff yesterday and we're trying but like look at all these 51 player exchanges i've got so many of them man so i might try to hit a few premiums today just to see if we can get lucky with that and keep rinsing into the player picks crafting silas and uh moving into the last day of bundesliga team of the season let's go bundesliga prime players pack for right now, no blue. Yeah, it just, guys, the pack weight. The pack weight, it's just, it's very pain. I know we talked about it yesterday in the video, and it was, it's definitely very frustrating, but yesterday um, was a little bit better in terms of the servers never had any issues. I don't know what it was, if it had to do with like weekend league or whatever, but it just seemed like yesterday the game, at least server wise, turned a corner. But the pack weight is definitely not there still. So we'll see if any of that improves today. Not expecting it to. But I'm getting more excited for League One and a lot of French flag troll walkouts with Team of the Season, you know, 
animations to be baiting us later on this weekend. I'm getting more and more excited for that, the potential of using some brand new cards, and of course, the content that follows with it. We'll talk a lot more about that tomorrow. Hopefully, we get some news today. But if you're excited for it tomorrow, drop a thumbs up on the video, comment below if you have any questions, and tell me who you got in your Bundesliga Tots guaranteed down below in the comments because you've watched all the way to the end of the video. You're a legend. I want to see that. I want to love that for you because hopefully you got something good. If you're new around here as well, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the Twitch stream today. It's been Nate for the count and catch you there. Peace.